Hello, and welcome to another edition of MC in Focus, the only place where MC students get up-to-date information. I'm Sima Zupas. And I'm Nick Cortez. We're glad to have you with us. Today's weather is mostly sunny with a high of 65 degrees. If you have a chance, head on outside and get some fresh air. Don't forget to wear your mask. With that out the way, here's your top story. Maryland is changing the way it offers unemployment benefits. Claimants can now decide whether to receive the payment through direct deposit or a paper check. The state is transitioning away from Bank of America debit cards after signing a new contract with Wells Fargo. The Bank of America cards will be phased out completely by August 1st. Labor Secretary Tiffany Robinson says the change will make it safer, faster, and more convenient for Marylanders to receive their payments. For more information about the switch to direct deposit, visit mdunemployment.com. Pentagon Officer Protection Agency Officer Paul Dave Dixon has been indicted last week for two assault counts involving a homeless woman back in May 2020. However, he still remains in a Montgomery County Detention Center for one count of assault, two counts of murder, and three counts for the use of a handgun during a felony crime. Video surveillance shows three suspects breaking into cars when Dixon intervened. Once they fled the scene, there was no sensible reason to open fire because they were not a threat to Dixon. No official trial date for the incident against Dixon has been decided at this time. In 2011, a wealthy DC socialite was murdered in a bizarre set of circumstances. Viola Drath, 91 years old, was gruesomely beaten and strangled to death. That heinous crime is now being revisited in an upcoming film called Georgetown, starring and directed by Christoph Waltz. The Academy Award-winning actor will assume the character of Albert Muth, an extremely eccentric husband to the deceased Davis, a man who is nearly 50 years younger than his well-to-do wife. Davis's death has become notorious in the DC area, not only for the brutality of the crime, but for the stranger than fiction events surrounding her murder. Waltz has gained widespread acclaim for his portrayal of imposing characters, but this will be his first time behind the camera as a director. Georgetown residents, fans of true crime, and anyone else interested should check out this unusual tale when it hits theaters on May 14th. Earlier this week, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan announced new plans to incentivize state government employees to go out and get vaccinated. The incentive program will reward employees with a single $100 payment. Employees must also agree to take any booster shots for the next 18 months if the vaccines require them. Employees who are fully vaccinated are also eligible to relieve the cash. This is another step towards fully opening Maryland. Maryland running back Jake Funk has been drafted by the Los Angeles Rams in the 2021 NFL Draft. The former University of Maryland running back was drafted this past Saturday. The Damascus native appeared in seven games as a true freshman in 2016. He accumulated 178 scrimmage yards and two touchdowns. Over the next three years, Funk went through more than his fair share of adversity. The running back suffered two separate ACL tears over that span and played in just five total games between 2018 and 2019. Returning as a fifth-year senior in 2020, Funk finally got his chance to be Maryland's starting running back. He finished with 516 rushing yards in five games. Funk will join Cam Akers and Daryl Henderson in Los Angeles' running back by committee system. Now, do, now that he's successfully broken out of his funk, the skill position player will likely first be used on special teams. Thai food lovers, we have exciting news. Local DC favorite Thai chef street food is opening up a second location in Rockville. The restaurant will feature the traditional Thai food we know and love, plus a whole host of yummy street food. The owner, Bangkok native, Chalisa Fitz, is looking forward to opening and says, if you haven't had Thai street food, you haven't had Thai food. The new location will open up later this summer in the Rockville Town Square. So all you foodies prepare your 
tongues, and your wallets. Montgomery County Department of Transportation launched a new pilot program this summer season to replace a full fleet of motorized mowers with new bright green electric ones. The program aims to reduce noise pollution, air pollution, and fuel costs. The new mowers are easy to use and have new technology that helps the crew set precise heights for cutting and will be essentially silent. The Department of Transportation will periodically review the CO2 and noise emissions of the electric mowers. And these tests are meant to ensure that they are helping the community combat excess pollution and to determine if the program will be expanded in future years. More on the trampoline, including an interview with Cabrina McDonald. Now we are going to move on to our main story today. Our producer, Carlos Ayala, will take talk to us about a trampoline park called Sky Zone, a place where people of all ages go to have fun. Take a look. McGowan College classes have been online for a year now. Students and staff are looking for something to do for fun. It is hard to go anywhere if we want to get back into normal life again. McGarry County took a surprise turn by reopening business and lifting restriction rule last month. Some may not know a unique place which is now open where many had never been before. You can feel the excitement of being able to return safely to an indoor entertainment place. Sky Zone Sky Zone Trampoline Park is now open after being shut down for a full year. Guests are happy to be back, the kids are jumping around, while adults are back to having fun playing dodgeball and other games in the park. Before it was closed, Sky Zone was packed every day with both adults and children. There are max capacity on the weekends. Trampolines naturally help you boost your brain and body after a long day of studying or working. Cabriana McDonough is the manager for Sky Zone who has been preparing for a year to follow all the safety protocols and social distancing rules and welcome new employee who lost her job last year. It will be a challenge for these employees. Customers may be tired and sweaty and trying to take their mask off while jumping. Her role is to supervise and keep things as safe as possible. The time where this place was going to be closed permanently, but the support from other Sky Zones helped them and this place is not planning on closing down anytime soon with business coming back. The fun experience that people need is a fresh start for everybody who hopes to feel normal again after what we have been through last year. We're going to college students come out and try right after class is over. Come jump inside and feel something you never experienced before. skip it I don't have it we'll be right back after our student made PSAs take a look us all. Pandemics are stressful. Hello? A recent CDC report states that U.S. adults reported considerably elevated adverse mental health conditions. In fact, during June, 40% of U.S. adults admitted to struggling with mental health or substance use. Especially during this holiday season, please be sure to just check in with friends and family. You can reach the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. Welcome back to MC in Focus. Before we wrap up today's show, we have one more thing to show you. We're going to return to Carlos Ayala for his interview with the manager of Sky Zone, Cabrina McDonald. All right. Uh, what is your name? Cabrina McDonald. And what are you? A manager at Sky Zone. What was your first reaction when you found out Sky Zone was opening? I was very excited. Um, I miss working here. It's one of my favorite places to be. Currently working at Top Golf, but Sky Zone is my home. This is where I belong. Um, this is my happy place. Where were you when this place was closed? Where you been working at? 
Um, I've worked at SkyZone for five years, so I've been here. Any challenges you needed to face when the place was close? Um, financially, uh, SkyZone was my only income, so I was also pregnant at the time. I have a baby now, so I was worried about how I was going to pay for everything baby-wise. Um, I have a car note as well, and I have rent, and I have a car insurance, so I was kind of like worried about where my income was going to come from. Did other SkyZone help this place not to be closed permanently, and how so? SkyZone paid like bills such as the electrical property rent while we were closed because um, we make money from when people come in to pay those bills and since we were closed we couldn't pay them. Are things different now since everything opened up like employees or managers? So we have basically an all new staff. We do have some still old employees. Um, we have a brand new GM and all our managers on our management team are new. What is the safety protocols here at SkyZone once you enter? required to, as soon as you walk through that door, you're required to do a thermal scan to make sure that you don't have a fever um, and your temperature is at a certain rate. Uh, we make sure you guys are all wearing masks. There's hand sanitizers around all the parks. We try to establish that the six, keep the six feet rule in here. Um, and we have arrows, so it's less contact. That's nice. Um, what's the hardest part once this place is open up? Like for example, any problems with the mask rule here with the people? Yes, um, some people don't like wearing their mask. Um, as you know, the mask guideline is over your nose and over under your chin. Um, a lot of people will have it just literally here or they'll just completely take it off. Um, unfortunately, we can't have that at all. Tell me more about the ninja course. Um, with ninja, we are making sure everyone's following one direction. We're having it separated by person. The dedicated cleaner goes around and is displaying the uh, Action. Tell me about the dodgeball, the contact rules here for sports, dodgeball. So with dodgeball, we say no face. Um, anything below is a target. <laughs> um, we also wipe down the balls as much as we can. What about people who want to do a party here for teenagers and adults, since some do want to host a party here? So with parties there, regardless of the age, um, there's no food allowed in the building. We so they have the party room to kind of do what they want, such as pictures, open gifts, and stuff like that. But there's nothing else really going on in the party rooms. Otherwise, we have water in them in the party rooms for the people to come get out and grab. But like I said, otherwise, there's no real use of the party room. Um, teenagers and adults prefer it below if they're going to come. Um, it's a little less kids and the vibes are totally different. Some other courses are closed, for example, Sky Climb. Any update when they are planned to open? So with Sky Climb being closed, it's the only attraction that we have closed right now. And it's due to the mandates for the simple fact is that we have to have six feet between us and that um, CDC regulations don't allow us to touch the guests or anything like that. So in order to harness somebody, you would have to physically touch them. Um, until we can have those reopen, we can't um, can't do anything until the mandate is lifted, basically. Things are looking bright with the reopening in Grand County. What is it for people who never came, never give it a try here at SkyZone? Well, it's fun. It's uh, something great for the family and the kids. It's something for everyone. Um, I've had a 90-year-old woman come in here and jumping. So, like I said, it's something for everyone. Jumping is for everyone. So, classes have been online for everybody here in McGurn County and other Maryland places. Um, why is this the best thing for McGurn College or any other students after class is over? You're in class, it's online, so you're required to look at a computer screen all day. Or if you're in school, like um, public schools, um, you're, like I said, you're required to look at a mask all day. You don't really get that exercise that you would get in school if you're in class. Um, so it's pretty boring. So we come here to get out your energy instead of being cooped up in the house. How are the other employees doing here? How did it make sure you want people are safe while jumping? So we make sure that everyone's wearing their masks. That's something that we make sure it's in implicated. Um, we're making sure one person is per square so that no one's hurt. Um, and we're just making sure everyone's following the rules. What can you say to the viewers about feeling nervous to come here? Um, if you're feeling nervous about coming here, definitely don't. Like, we really do make sure that we go on above and beyond to make sure that COVID's not touching you guys. Like, you guys can't contract COVID. 
making sure that no one's touching. We're making sure that we're keeping our distance. We're making sure we're cleaning. Honestly, and our court monitors are outgoing. They're really amazing. Um, I have a great team on my side behind me. So don't be afraid. Come have some fun with your family. It's definitely worth the money. All right, thank you, Gabriana. All right. It's an exciting time of the year for all of us. You will get an inside look at the virtual graduation ceremony of, and to look back at our experiences with this class. It's been great. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow at noon.